Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we have a new camera, so I'm now supposed to look over here. Hey, Deanna! Hello, hello, hello! Hi, everybody! Wait a minute, I have to get up taller. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Shenanigans <laughs> with Big Becky and Little Becky! All right. Oh, thank you, Brenda, very much. So Brent, Brent is indisposed right now. He's probably going pee is my guess. I don't know. But I don't, who needs him anyway to get the ball rolling? Who needs him? Hey, i got to change to today's format. Eddie, should we try and do that now? No? we got to change to today's quiz format that I want to tell you about right now. Because the more you comment, Deanna and Riley and Brenda and Wilma and Karen, the more chances you have to win. Today's quiz will be announced at 1245, if I can last that long. And it will be randomly drawn from people who have made online comments today. So you have to be live in the in the live in the hive. Live in the hive on shenanigans in order to win that ten dollar GC. Just thought we'd make up a change for today's quiz because you know, I wanted to. I wanted to. Hey, but before I get into that, what about that wind? Did y'all see those tornado? Let's talk about those naked boobs that drove into the tornado. I'm thinking, not only would I have not stopped on the side of the road, but I would have turned, uh -oh. I would have turned my car around. Are we live, Deanna? Here I am telling all my good stories and nobody can hear them. Huh. Oh, we are live. Okay, good. Whew. Um, yeah, I would have turned around and ran the other way. I, heck, would not have stopped on the side of the road hoping it wouldn't come to me. And I certainly as heck wouldn't have continued to pass people and drive into the storm. Hmm. Good thing no one got hurt, that's all I can say. 90 miles per hour. That there would take furniture off my back deck. Oh, wait a minute, it did, and it wasn't 90 miles per hour at my house. Hmm. Oh, well, that's probably what happened to my hair. Okay, I guess I'm doing... Just a second, just a second. Just a second, what? I'm doing shop news. Because if I got some shop news all for right. you... Here's some shop news for me. Here's some shop news, and I got and I got actually a challenge for myself on this one. Two scoops, the two scoops pillow. Where am I, Eddie? Where am I, Eddie? Just, just, so just so stop so moving, he said. Becky, stop moving. Here it is. Two scoops bench pillow from Kimberbell has arrived. Not only did the CD arrive, people. We have three of the kids. That's all you have left. Yep. Think he can order more. I, I should be able to. Okay, guess what, guys? He's got this embellishment kit. My favorite thing of all things. Oh, no. Did you open this yet? No. I have not. No, okay, no. turbo tip. Don't pull the battery little plastic thingy out of this until you're ready to actually install it. Because this little thing tab. makes music. Tab. Thank you, Carolyn. This little thing makes music. And it really makes music quite easily. So I pulled mine off so I could hear the little ice cream truck. Ding, 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 and I keep hitting it when I don't mean to hit it. So my whole world is ding, 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 ding. Super cute, though. It goes in the little, the little truck here so that your people in your household can irritate you by pressing the button and making it sound literally like a little ice cream truck rolling down the road super cute and brent god bless his soul he's getting better and better every day has got the fabric kits in so believe it or not in this box and i love this one stop whoops whoop one stop shop and all your beautiful fabrics are in here including the backing by the way which i almost cut up by mistake because it's that yellow polka dot, and it's used in another place, too. Don't cut up the big piece of backing. Don't do that. You need it for the backing of the pillow. So, I'm really excited. Wasn't going to make this, wasn't going to make this, wasn't going to make this. Had too much to do, had too much to do. And I do have too much to do. But I said, Becky, 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 you keep talking about making these, piecing these things first then quilting them, then embroidering them. This is a perf this is bigger than a placemat. 
This is a perfect way for me to exercise what I preach. So I said, I'm not going to do this in the hoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 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 11 times. I'm going to piece it together. And then I'm going to pick one design and I'm going to quilt the whole thing. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do all my appliques and embroidery. Uh-huh, I am. And guess what I found? Had the recipe right on their website. If you go under Kimberbell's, to use our affiliate link, if you go under Kimberbell's website and you go quilting for projects, they have this nifty little chart which shows you what quilting design and what size they used on everything. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do what I call semi-custom quilting. I'll do the borders differently than the middle, but I'm gonna do the middle all as one big thing, like I would a quilt. Um, but guess what it shows you? The sizes of every single block. So this is my cut list. I'm gonna cut my pieces according to this. I'm gonna piece them all together. I'm not gonna have to use a bunch of stabilizer. I'm gonna use my fancy magnetic hoop with my sticky tape solution on it. Kimberbell's project batting, one big piece of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my backing. So when I'm done, I'm gonna have a quilted back and a quilted front. That's my challenge. Yay! That's my challenge. We'll have to see if so, I can do it. So, see if you can do it. Mm -mm -mm. So that delay. That we have a delay, and I didn't... know why I was here. No, the delay why it took me a while to oh, get here. Oh, yes. Because you see, that's the sh that's the shipping. Well, I wanted to talk about this anyway because okay. Was all well, I was just so. wanted to let you know that your luminaire just came off the truck. Oh, so that hot was, off the press. Is it spoken for? <laughs> you have spoken for it. It's all yours. Um, so awesome yeah, possum. That, that just came in. Okay, cool. All right. Hi, Lynn. Okay, we have to announce the quiz again, I think, because I see Lynn's yeah. in the house. Okay, yep. Oh, Lynn's yeah. in the house. Oh, yeah, announce the quiz. Got to get the people in the house online. Yes. We got to get you online because today's quiz winner comes from the text message. Well, they're not text messages. Well, maybe messages. Eddie can figure they're out how to add. chat messages, add, right? Can you add people to that, Eddie, on the fly? Yeah. If okay. they're in house. But yeah. I want to see them say stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, okay. no, but I'm just saying that if they're here hey, in the house. what's with my then... hair? It looks flat. I'm, I'm just saying if Eddie should be able to add the studio audience okay. names to the list. All right. All right. But anyway. So they'll be added if they're live and in, yeah. in the house. Yeah, because so they're participating. The quiz is going to take place at the end of today's show. It's not really a quiz per se. The G $10 giveaway is at the, the end the random, of the show yes. today. And what it's going to do is we're going to get the in-house participants. Mm -hmm. And anybody who comments. During the show. During the show. Yes. So it's only going to be my live peeps today. Yes. Just to be something a little different. The, you can comment as many times as you want. The more you comment, the more times you have on the wheel. Which oh. kind of a, it's not fair if they don't comment, but that's what it goes. We'll, well, we'll figure it out. All right, Eddie? Something like that. Anyway, make a comment either live and in person or online. Yes. To win your $10. And GC. then the other thing, because I know everybody loves giveaways and all that. We're oh. Also, because we're trying to um, encourage more likes and subscribes and all that jazz. All that jazz. We are going to have a coupon code available next week. Whoa. But the value of the coupon code is going to be based on how many likes we get on any of the videos that we do this week. What if so, we get zero? Well, then they don't get a coupon code. Well, that's embarrassing. Like I'm going to like it. Can, how many times can I like my own video? Once. That's why I'm going on likes oh. instead of views. Yeah. Because then you can just watch it 100 times. Oh, well... But um, what it's going to be based on, so it's going to, we're going to look at all the videos because when we do the live video, then we also break it down into the little shorts. So, and whatever video has the most likes, that's the one we'll use for the metric on what to base the coupon on. If we get 20 likes on any one of the videos we put out this week. We don't get 20 likes. We do. Usually. We do? Well, yeah. It usually takes a oh. couple of weeks. I'm trying to speed up the process. Oh, okay. You'll get a 10% coupon next week. Who gets it? Everybody. <gasps> Everybody, we'll get, whether we'll, they watch the show or not? Well, you're only going to know about it if you watch the show. So, do you have to mention it? Yes. And, and so there'll be a 10% 
It's a secret code. For all, I keep looking yes. at the old camera. Do you notice that? Yeah, so do before I. It's I not could, there. Before, I could never remember to look at it. Yeah, now, now today, now I keep looking there. at it, and Eddie's got me over here. Mm. So, if we get 20 likes, it's a 10% coupon. If we get... Four, uh, anything in the store except sewing uh, machines? Yeah, uh, everything except sewing machines. Or any online order, because the coupon code will work online, too. That's hear that, nice. D? Hey, Brenda! She's and, in the house on the comments. Woohoo! And then you'll get 40% off. Or not 40. You'll get... How do you do mail orders? You'll get... You'll get 15% off if we get 40 likes. And if we can hit 50 likes, we'll do 20% off. Ooh! So, so like, share, and subscribe. Deanna has a question. Yes. How do we do mail orders? You we, can either order right off, yeah, right right off, off the website. Yeah, right, 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 yeah, yes, right off the website. Or you can give us a call. I get a lot of people that will give us a call. Oh. And we'll take all your info over the phone and whatever you're looking for. Yeah. And we'll get it sent out. And delivery shipping methods, we usually do priority mail or UPS. She's Around Christmas, we almost do exclusively UPS because um, the, how long the, po the post office is a little Yeah, sketchy. how long does it take to get to, say, Tennessee? Well, we try to, like I said, we usually do priority mail so or, or two or, th or two day, two or three day two delivery. Three days. Yeah, you should okay. have it within a week. Two or three days. Yeah. There you go, D. And Riley's usually on top of it, so she And she And we right have out. Bev, uh, one of our live audience members, has a question. So you said that the Tennessee, is Tennessee coming up soon? Deanna, you coming up soon? Because we'd love to have you in the house. Because we, we could just save it. She should be here soon. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing rumbles. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, that's... She's not committing online right now, but we'll see if we can wrangle her in. I'd like her up here, and I'd like her in-house on Wednesdays, baby. So what I'm trying to say is like the video, and then if and then the, the shorter videos that will be posted probably tomorrow or the day after that we put up um, as the, uh, for this... Will um like the video <laughs> that will determine what kind of a uh, wow, what kind so of coupon you get. Like, share, subscribe, subscribe, and tell other people to like. Yes, because share the, and subscribe, the, and it's money in the bank. Yes. So everybody that likes. And shares is going to get that. Yeah, or if you watch and you come into the, the shop and say, I'm going to use the code. The, then, more, yep. the more they do it, the more your discount is. And we're going to, but the but we are going to limit the coupon one per person, just because, you one know. One per person, but I can go shopping like, I can shop all day. Yes, and, and then at the end of the day, up one, ring up once, that is correct. <laughs> Okay, and other shop news. Ooh, you guys can get a lot of stuff if we get those likes in. Yeah. Will that coupon be announced next week's show? Yes, we're announcing it next week. So next week's show it gets announced, and then it's off and running. It's off and running, and I'll figure out the details for it, but that's I figure yeah, I get you Yeah, this is how we do it. We figure it out as It we was go. an idea, and now the idea has to finish itself. Yeah. Um, other th shop news is the, oh, special summer financing. Brother is offering special summer financing on machines. Again, huh? Yes. I keep going up there. And I can't, me a while I can't, as we, dis light. as we discussed last week, I really can't talk about pricing of sewing machines on most of online or machines. any of that. All I can tell you is without naming names or prices, with the special financing, you can get the top of the line for under 200 bucks a month. That's as much as I can tell you about the Lumineer it. Lumineer 2? Yes. Oh. But you said it, not me. That's the top of the line. Yeah. Yeah. For less than 200 bucks a month. Well, like I said, there's more details for to 25 it. 25 years. <laughs> oh, my God. We're not going to get into I, those. I hurt a rib. <laughs> I hurt a rib this week, and it's every time I laugh, I just I'm like, oh, Okay, my God. so I'm going to really oh make you God. laugh now. Oh, cause don't, because... Even breathing. And oh, it, you're going to um, love this. I'm like, this oh, is, my God. This, this made me laugh. Because really <laughs> Eddie was going through the comments, and he ran across a comment that, that there was an individual that said, can you have Becky show us how to use the foot pedal? And Eddie was like, well, that's kind of weird. Foot pedal. Yeah, so Eddie did a little bit of research to, you know, what's this all about? And the same person apparently has a foot fetish. <laughs> so he has a, so oh. he's always asking people to do foot pedal stuff. <laughs> If you like, if you like, share and subscribe. I'll even let you tickle it from afar. <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate that. I said from afar. From afar, yeah. Virtual tickles. Yes. 
that was fantastic. Yeah, so, so this is off, but I, you, I have to say it because you're going to see me go, oh, see? Yep. Oh, my God. All right. No, All right. I'm telling this story. Okay. Okay. So I'm still sleeping with a freaking splint. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. Steroids did not work, just so you know. We're still in limbo. But so I get up in the middle and I, I got to go pee. And I can't go pee without taking this thing off. And I can't take this thing off while my husband's sleeping because it makes such a racket. It will wake him up. So I'm like, ugh. So I'm tiptoeing out to the kitchen to use the powder room instead of my bathroom so I don't wake anybody up. And I'm tiptoeing and I'm like, oh, and I'm ripping it off and I really got to go by now. I'm like, oh, 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 I really got to go. So I might be guilty of going a little quickly. And I go around the corner in my Lovely little Chloe dog has piddled on the floor, and I go, I'm not kidding, I go airborne, and I'm like, my hand, my hand. I bruised, I went, <laughs> came down right here, yeah. knee, I'm like, Wah! and I'm laying on the ground going, ow, 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 as quiet as I can. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> And still, this has been a week, and I still got a rib that is the not up, happy. The upside of that is you probably could have just did your business right there and still blamed it on the dog. Well, the downside is I did. Because <laughs> when I was sailing through the air, poof, and I'm like, oh, none of it worked out, right? None of it. I peed myself. I fell. I bruised my, my poor hand that's never going to get better. Up. No, I woke nobody up. Nobody cared that I was on the ground going, uh, 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 uh. and I swear I flew six feet in the air. That's what it felt like. And I'm like, I could see my body go, no, my head. Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> and then I'm like, wow. I don't have any clean britches because so I'm like stripping down and taking a blanket and walking around in a blanket. <laughs> So if, you, if I'm doing this, that's why. <laughs> Did Chloe at least come help No, you? nobody came. Nobody came. They just left me on the floor. Oh, was I mad at her? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, no. Anyway, so yes. So that yeah. special financing. We also still have a dream oh, machine yeah, on the floor. Oh, yeah, we're financing. We still have a dream machine on the floor. I do have a couple people interested oh, in it. So if you are interested yay, in the dream machine, Danny, so um, let me know yay. sooner than later. I do have some, some people that are contemplating it and we're on a kind of a first come first serve on that bad boy so um there's that what the do other... you have you've got the dream i'm sorry a dream, a dream I, was, machine, yes. I wasn't squirreling <laughs> yeah no i've got a dream machine like i said there's a little bit of i do have a few people oh. that, are, that are contemplating it nobody's um, pulled the trigger but nobody's yet. pulled the trigger yet so it's come first and it's still sitting there yes um next thing we got is classes upcoming I can. we are going to be doing a oh, reading thank you she likes my story <laughs> We are going to be doing a reading pillow workshop on June 4th. We are. Because we, we are. Because we've Brenda had a lot of... Boo, we are. Yes, we talked about it because we have a lot of people that are coming in doing these reading pillows. Yeah. Uh, we will be... Um, we're going to see if we can come up with a couple patterns, but I know there's a few patterns out there. But the idea behind it is more of a workshop. It's not going to be a real formal class. Um, it's going to be more if you started one, come in, we'll help you do it. If you want to start one, we're going to help you do it. But it's kind of a, like, it's going to be very informal. It's just we've had a, yeah. we've had a, um, quite a few people, at least half a dozen people come in talking about them and, and, and a few actually stayed and sewed and we just thought it might be a good idea just to have just a Saturday. Just a fun social thing. Yeah. And so it's going to be a Saturday. We're making reading pillows. Nice. Um, like I said, very informal. Hopefully I should have a pattern dug up for them. But that's going to be June 4th. There's so many cool things. Yeah, there's a lot of cool. And that's, and those are usually those an embroidery machine. So if you are interested, it is going to be an embroidery pattern, so it's going to be kind of an embroidery machine thing. We'll have, we might have a couple machines here to use if you're interested as well. Give us a call if that's kind of on if that's kind of on your radar. There's that. We got intro to machine embroidery coming up in July, and also the Luminaires Owner Club. This is all on the on the website, uh, so check that out. The reading Whoa. pillow was the one I just wanted to throw out for people because that's coming up a little sooner than later, and it's kind of it'll be kind of a fun informal thing. Whoa. The and I think and we covered the coupon. I think that's everything. Yay.
that's all the shop news I had. That's, that's a lot of shop news. I know we really. But I, I mean, the best shop I'm news. Was, the, 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 the best shop news was your ribs, though. You know, it was. Oh my god, it's right under my boob. So I want to. Oh wait, I want to show this. this off too. So, um, just to get you all kind of excited about this, because I'm, I'm like showing off because we're still. Oh, I am excited. So we are working on some in-house embroidery designs. So this is just kind of a sample of this is the deer. A deer. We still got to get the directions oh, worked out and get deer, all the oh, files. Deer. But we are. I gotta hold it up higher. I want to see it. And then this was this is. Who? Uh, who? Who let the dogs bit, out? This one still needs a little bit of work. There's who a few minor things. Who let the animals things. out? Who? 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 But we are going. We are like I said. We're working on in-house design. There's going to be a quilt that this all goes with. Um, and it's going to come in two sizes, a nine inch and Ooh, a six inch. you went out of your way on the digitizing on that owl. Um, there's still, like Sweet. I said, a couple, a couple things need to be picked up and I'll just throw the deer again. So, um, so, uh, but it's going to be kind of woodland creature type thing. The bear is my favorite that Eddie worked up and I can't wait to see what that looks like. Um, all done up, but Eddie's been working on the digitizing yeah. and the art. He's done a really nice job. I'm just kind of putting it out there now to get y'all excited about it. It's probably going to be another couple weeks, maybe even a month before we get a, a totally... Well, it Done did, up. yeah, before but work. it's gonna be really neat. You can kind of see the direction we're going. There's a That's whole so nice, and the, there's a, I'm not gonna show the I'm sketch thrilled. of the quilt, uh, but we have a, a, a quilt uh, quilt sketched out it's, and everything. It's for gonna it. be a four pines exclusive. It, it will be because it's gonna be our own design. But we just want to get you all excited about it because it's four pines coming exclusive up. coming your way. Oh yeah, yeah, we're excited. Sweet, you know, we're trying. To, I finally got Eddie to um, get into some of his art. And it wasn't like zombies and weird cowboys. It's you know. <laughs> no, that'll be the next one. But but what's really cool is it does have his style to it, though. That's what I really liked about it. it, it you could definitely tell it's coming out of Eddie's head when Very you see him cool. all done. Very Thank cool. you, Eddie. I just had to show that off. But uh, keep your eye out for it. That'll be available probably for download and purchase here. I'm hoping by the end of the summer. Wowzer. Maybe sooner. Very exciting. Anyway, that's all I got. That's Over to enough. you for the uh, quiz time. Oh, wait, wait. No, we're bypassing quiz. quiz time for a little bit later, but I see the comments coming in, so I like that. Now remember, so, comment to be square. Comment to get that $10 GC at the end of so the I show. So I guess that puts us into Quilt of the Week. End of the show comments. Be live, bubble eyes. So here's Quilt of the Week. Yeah, if, if Danny's enough to, a wall enough to say like, share, and subscribe. Yes, and Danny... Um, we you might have missed the oh I'm moving you oh, might have missed right. missed the announcement on the sale coupon that would have thrilled you. So this is quilt of the week again. <laughs> um, Riley just grabbed it because Riley, Riley likes it. So we been another going. Riley pick. Well, she's got good taste. These are fun. This is to really kind Where of. Where is she? I think she's. I can't up even. Front. I can't even pick on her. She's up front. Those are beautiful colors. Yeah, the, the, the colors are gorgeous. It's got that nice Southwest theme going on. Um, it's just a great, great quilt. And it's really, I, what I really like is how she used her theme fabric. And then these are just kind of tone on tone. The, the sashings is just kind of a scrappy tone on tone. But, you know, the, all the, the bigger blocks are just a real nice theme, kind of a fun Southwest. Yeah. But that's going to be a quilt, of the, quilt of the week. It's and really kind of fun. The quilt of the week is by. The What's that? Isn't the stuff on the bed? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the quilt of the week is by. The quilt of the week is by Judy. And then the Judy! other thing, and the other thing oh, that that's she did, I love when people do stuff like that. Is because it was just a little bit longer than just piecing it together. She took some of the, I really, some of the leftover blocks yeah. and just kind of pieced that in there to the beginning. So, and this is a great time for me to talk about two-sided quilts because I hate two-sided quilts. You hate two-sided quilts because they're a pain to line up. But when you do something like what she did here, it's very, it's from a quilting standpoint, we're not trying to line this up. We're just kind of putting that line across there and it'll get trimmed up Somewhere a little bit. In the middle. Yeah, but if you have an, an entire quilt back that you want, a, an entire quilt that is the back, one of the problems from a long arming standpoint is lining that up and getting the, the top and the back to line up is almost impossible. You need lots of wiggle room on the back. Yes. And so I always encourage people, if you've made two quilt tops and you want to put one on the back, just have two quilts. Oh. Because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, just have extra room and know you're not going to line it up. Yeah, well, you can usually center it left to right, but top to bottom very is very different. hard to, to, to get that yep. to come out right. So, and if you've gone through the trouble to make a quilt top, make two quilts. Because you're only going to be able to use one at a time. Back in position we go. But anyway. 
But anyway. Don't get me started on two-sided two -sided quilts are great in theory, but a pain in the butt from a quilting standpoint. From Brent's vantage point. Yes. He there are some quilters that them. can do that, but it's very, it's very time consuming and tedious to get it lined up perfectly. And it's just. Yeah. For what we charge for quilting. Onward we go. <laughs> kinda... Onward we go. Okay. So okay. that's quilt of the week. On to the turbo tip. Oh, I don't have my turbo tip. Okay. So I'll go, I'll go on to my workbench. That's where that Becky's works. Becky's all frazzled. All right, work bench today. I fell. Hurt my boob. <laughs> Fractured. Uh, I was gonna say, are, you, are, you, are your brains in your boobs? Oh, don't make me laugh. It really does. I mean, hurt we know that laugh. most guys' brains are in your boobs, but not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, Eddie, you want to put the the uh, camera down here on this bad boy? What it's not fair. My whole left side is is jinxed. <laughs> Is it the First retrograde? First it was the wrist, then it was the this, so, then it was the that, now it's the this. So we've talked, Ugh. I know we've probably talked about this before, but I'm gonna do, I want to do a workbench on it so it gets its very own video for Eddie to post. If you look at this, you will you can kind of see on there, there's this big, there's a there's a little little diagram that says don't touch, a big no, X. No, actually it just has a big X. Like, a big X. Like you better not, don't, don't do this. Someone's playing tic-tac-toe. Don't do this. What I'm going to tell you, the workbench that I'm going to present today is you can do. I'm going to. I'm going to do something. Okay, Eddie, zoom out I'm a little moving, bit. So I'm they moving can see out of this. the way because this looks like it could be dangerous. Watch. And watch this. Oh, you're so evil. So you can do this. This is not against the law or against any yeah, rules. Yeah, no, if you really shouldn't. I'm going to talk about this is a workbench. We're talking technical Unless stuff. Unless you're putting it in your carry-on yes. and it doesn't line up properly. That's the one you would want. Then you just manhandle it. Yes. Like it. I mean, you know. Oh, I keep looking at that dead space. That's all like, I want. Like, why? Because, well, I'll put a giant eyeball up there. <laughs> no, because you don't want me looking at that. But I've seen people pull their, pull their arm off, get ready to pack it up, and their arm's over here. Yeah. And they need to have it over here to pack it. Because depending on the case you have. Yes. It's two different so, places. What I wanted to tell you in workbench is it's all right to do this. It's I do not it after the it's end not of the, the world. No, your machine's turned off while you're doing well, this. Well, that's what I was going to get into. First off, you don't want to really jerk it around. Just, you know, it's going to move a little tight, so you just gently move it. And you can do the same here if you have to. I don't know why I'd want to move that. But the important key, the thing to keep in mind if you're going to move your arm, is that your machine, I'm pointing, see, the machine the is machine. off. The machine is off. The machine is off. As a general rule of thumb, I would... The machine is off, off. people. As June a 16th, Deanna says. June 16th. 16th. As a general rule, I would hey, tell you... Hey, that's my divorce date. As a general... My first marriage. It's also when I got married on my first marriage. We got married and divorced on the same day. <laughs> we really did. <laughs> so, so I would tell you, if you're going to move this, to take the arm off first... And then move it, but if you can have it on the machine as long as the machine is turned off. Now the other thing I want to tell you is, and we've talked about this before, but like I said, I wanted to do this as a standalone video so people could see it and refer to it. Is if this gets moved at all while the machine is on, so say you're say you're embroidering out and this moves to the back and it hits the wall. I've seen that happen more than once. Or it comes forward and you have and you, you, you bump it. Or it hits the other person sitting yeah. in front of you. Yeah, or it gets bumped. That's happened to me. I'm like. Or it gets bumped. What you're going to notice is suddenly all of your, all of your um, design is off. All you have to do whenever that happens is turn your machine off and turn it back on. That's why you can move this when it's off because every time you turn it on, the machine will calibrate where this needs to be. But once you have turned the machine on, do not touch this or try to move it um, by hand. Because it makes a terrible noise. Because it will make terrible noises. But the other thing is that if you do move it, you run the risk of needles hitting your hoop because it's not going to recalibrate. Oh. So it's going to put your hoop in places where it shouldn't. And you could hit your hoop with a needle, which breaks needles, obviously. But the more expensive issue is mm. it might break the hoop. And mm. hoops are not... Hoops they, are, they are. Hoops are a little bit more expensive than a dollar needle. They're a lot more money. A lot more. Did you know, speaking of hoops, that Dime has a bigger hoop for the Luminaire? What do you mean a bigger hoop? They have. You know how I'm always tooting my horn about my 9 by 14 Yeah. They have. A 10 by 10 Okay. No, a 16 by, yeah. the full size one. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know that? I have it on the floor probably. I bet you don't. Um, I usually have at least one in stock. Really? 
Yeah. Well, it's silly me. I didn't realize it. And then I said, oh, with my... Today, it's me going off. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I said, with my sticky tape, I now want the bigger hoop. Okay. Like, because you got to have it. Yeah. We, I think we might have it. But anyway. Wow. So that was all I had for workbench. That, yes, you can touch your arm. You can touch your arm and move your arm. No. And it won't hurt Wait. anything. Yes, it As does. long as the machine is off and you're not jerking it. I don't... <laughs> You can touch it, you, you can, can move it, but do not, not jerk, jerk it. it. <laughs> Where's Danny when you need it? That's what, was it that, 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 that's what she said? But you not, said. That's what he that's said. That's what he said. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody that said ever said that. But mm. Mm. No, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all I've got. <laughs> Work badge. I guess we're going to turn it over to. I'm going to turn this on now. You Actually, are going to turn it on. Yeah, because we've touched. And watch it recalibrate. We touched it and moved it. We and didn't we're jerk watch it. Watch it recalibrate. Do you want to want to put flip that over to this camera here, Eddie, so that people can watch it recalibrate? So what does this even mean? I you, thought that meant don't pick it up by that. No, it's don't touch. You're not. You shouldn't be moving it when it's when it's going. They don't oh. want people to move it. So oh, I I thought that meant don't touch me. So watch what's going to happen here as we start. Watch how every see that that recalibrated our foot. Move your pretty little demo there. Uh, and then it has a please wait and this is so that right there is the machine recalibrating. It went to the extreme outer corner and all the math is based on it hitting the, the, that spot. So that's all happening. If your machine doesn't do that, then you have issues. Yes, if your machine doesn't do it, you have issues. And what will happen is you'll get a code on your machine. Um, uh, it's, it's probably going to be a PM error of uh, X or Y axis or whatnot. Mine always says call burnt. Yep. My code says call brand. Oh, that would be kind of a fun little upgrade for these. To, to, call brand. That you could put your dealer in there and then my face would pop up. <laughs> Instead of the sad face, it would be my face. Yeah. No. <laughs> I shut it off, take the hoop off, call brand. Yep. Call brand. See what happens. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> so, that's all I had. So, I guess now I'm going to turn it over to Becky. Okay. Cool. Well, um, I forgot to get the skin and hoop out. I want to continue a little bit with our dog and pony about um, the design center, but I don't want to bore you all. So some input would be good. Some input uh, would be good. Were we going to talk about the calibration? Huh? Didn't we talk about we were going to do like a calibra calibration design? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do that? We can go right. It won't you take just long. need to hoop something up. Yeah, it won't take long. We oh, I forgot all about... See, today I'm just... I don't but know where my brain is It probably today. wouldn't be a bad thing to do because we've only got like 20 minutes and I don't know how deep we are going to get into it. But, yeah. What he's referring to is last week we talked about, um, especially with the Dream Machines, how, okay, to, how to test the settings that you really liked and, and, and then save them, write them down somewhere so you could reuse them. Settings for like the the um, the running stitch. I think the machine calls it a pitch. What setting to pitch do you want? Um, we talked about the satin stitch. Whether you wanted it tight together or looser. How wide do you want it? Do you want it wider, like a four millimeter, or skinnier, like a two millimeter? Um, those are all decisions that you have to make. And Brett had what I thought was a good idea because once in a while he does. He said, hey, how about you hoop some, we hoop something up and then we take one shape and we, re, we redo the pitch and the, we redo the settings and, and the like the four or five and different the, ways uh, and then we, then we stitch that out and you can actually mark on there which one that is and you can set that aside and you have a little library of stitches that you might like or stitches you don't like. That's what he's referring to. Right, Brent? Yes. Yeah, so right, Brent. I was just going to show how to so do So he's going to show you a couple shapes. I just want to review while he's doing that real quickly. Remember we were working on how to do something like this. I'm good, right, Ed? How to do something like this using components in the design center. Now, you can look online, and you can find out how to do this as one shape. Where did you say it was at? I was... Under there. The I was oh, I yeah. was saying to you I wouldn't do it as one shape, especially on a project like this one, because I know I'm going to use these shapes over and over again. So I've been showing you for the last two weeks how I broke this down into components, 
how we created the components in Design Center, and then used them over in embroidery land to create this particular flower. Um, and while he's doing that, one, remember I traced out with a black Sharpie, I traced my components. And then we, did, we scanned in this one and created it already. I think we did the stem and we showed that a couple times already. Um, so I don't want to bore you all the pieces we're doing each and every one, but we show how you can add them together in the embroidery center. So, but you have to save them as components in design center first, and then you can reuse the shapes over and over again. What I wanted to share with you today is how, if you're lucky enough to have a scan and cut, even one of the older scan and cuts, one of the older ones, uh, and I don't mean antique older, older, there's like the middle of the road ones that started to be able to read the files coming off the dream machines and the luminaires. Um, you can actually use the feature on your machine to mark this as an applique material, cutting, cutting any, anything, in any design. If there's a placement line, you can mark it as a cut, cut. You can save that to your stick, and I'm talking about the older ones. Say you don't have the new, brand new, multi-million dollar one with my connection in it. You can save that file to your stick. You can take it over to your scan and cut and actually do your cut files for anything that way. Um, of course, then as time goes on, I'm going to show you how you can take those files and do it on the Cricut, but we're not going to go there yet. <laughs> but but that's all built into the machines, and I don't know that everybody knows that. So while he's fiddling and diddling, I'm going to go over to the machine, Eddie, and I'm going to go to embroidery for a minute, and I'm going to go into something that's already built in, and then I'll show you one that isn't built in. But let's say I want to pick, uh, I don't know, there's so many. I want to... Those what color thread we got on that? What's that? What color thread we got? Don't know if I know. Where's the appliques on here? Well, maybe I won't do it. Oh, here's a tulip. Let's do this tulip. Let's bring this tulip in. Okay, so I'm going to take this is a tulip that's in my design center. It's an automatic thing. And I'm going to bring it in. Um, no, that wasn't a good example. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm going to let you go first then. Okay. Delete. Say yes, Becky. Okay, I'll let you go right. first. Then I'll show you because I brought a, 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 a stick. I guess I could. Didn't, or I can. I guess I could have just showed this without actually stitching this out. We saved this on this machine, right? So we yeah. we have. I can show you what's on the machine. So what I wanted to, sh we me and Becky talked about last week. Jeez, I forgot all about this. I keep going. Well, I thought it would be good to cover this now. Yes, it fits in nicely now. Because as we're playing with Design Center, we were talking about some of the settings on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our Design Center. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to probably, I'm just going to Use grab a built-in shape. I'm just going to grab a built-in shape. For the stitch I'm going to do, I'm probably going to just use a circle because I think a circle is a nice... Good test. Good, good test. And plus you can check a few other things, but we're just going to do a circle. And I don't want it that big at all because I don't need it that big. Yeah, that's what six inches. Yeah, yeah. and I've got a five, that's a big circle. And I've got a five by seven hoop in here, so what I want to do one is one and a half. There yeah, one of yeah. That's I'm just enough. and I'm just going up here, and I've got a five by seven. If you did, a, if you had a bigger hoop, you could certainly make this bigger. But because I've got a five by seven, I was just gonna and this this well this actually doesn't account for any machine that has smaller hoops because it's a design center thing. That's right. And if you need a machine with a design center, come on in. Because we have a great used dream machine. Yes, available. we do. We have great financing on all the new ones. Oh, we do. Yes, indeed. Stellaires so, and Luminaires. So I've created a one and a half inch circle. And I'm going to hit OK. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy that circle. Or I could bring a, a new one in. Um, if I go to size, that'll give me the move option. And all I'm going to do... Are you still in Design Center? Brad? I'm still in Design Center, yes. And I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to copy that shape again. And all I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to make four of them. And you He's can make, just making lots of circles. Yes, and, and, um, and I'm making them all the same size so I can see what it looks like 
And they, I, they're coming in as shapes that have no nothing assigned to them yet. Yeah, this nothing, is different than when we scanned stuff yeah. in. When we scanned it in, it automatically had a stitch line associated with it. I'm hoping I space that right that this will all fit. I think so. Oh, wait, you know what I can do? Is if I change my now he's getting fancy. He's going into settings. I'm going over here, and all I'm going to do is he's change changes. this to a five by. For those of you who aren't aware, when he changes that in settings, it's just a visual thing on the yes. screen. It's... It does nothing with what this machine knows is on here. Yes, it's visualization. All only. it has done is gave me this five by seven outline, so that I know as long as my shapes are within that outline, yeah, it'll fit in my hoop. It's and handy. I may have put, it's handy. I may have put those a little too close, but you'll get the no, idea. No, they'll be fine. So basically, now, if you, if you look up here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to... I want to check my um, satin stitch width, because I told you that that's a little bit different all, on all of them. So all yep. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we have a satin stitch, and then I'm going to do a line fill, which is this here, and assign a satin stitch. Well, they already already have it. They're all, th those are all already satin stitches. Why? Because that's what, that, the, the it satin. It fit. That, yeah, that's what I had. So it did assign it on yeah, that. When I it came just in. told you a lie. <laughs> so when it came in, it assigned it the satin stitch Oh, here. I didn't know it did that when you first created it. So yeah. you did. Yeah, okay. whatever. Yeah. So it's assigned, but we don't know how wide it is. Yes. Yeah, so now. how close together it is. So, and you don't need to use circles. You can use anything else. We're going to use circles. So I'm going to hit next now. And here are my circles. Now, those are all your circles. Those are all my circles. So. You'll notice I've got a red box around this one. What I'm going to do can, here... Before you do that, can you explain that little link button? Because a lot of people forget what that's yes. for. Yes. Okay, so if I hit this link button, see how they're all linked? Now, whatever change so, I make is goes to all, all of, of them. them. All of them. So if I change my, my, um, Turn my width... Turn it off if you want to... Yeah, for what we're doing, you don't want it linked. Because what we are going to do is we're going to leave that one at a .08 pitch. Which uh, is... Sort of like that, the that, length of this. Yeah. How far the stitches are apart. Yeah, it's kind of the Which, stitch width. No, it's not density, so I don't know no. what that is. It's yeah. gonna be how, it's gonna be how wide it is. It's how wide it is. Yes. On a zigzag. On on on, the, on okay. your sat how wide your satin stitch okay. is. So All now right. I'm gonna move this up. I can't do this in inches. I always have to be in metric. Well, these are in metric. Oh, oh well, these are my glasses on. Oh, yeah, these are in inches. We could do it to metric if no, you want. No, it's all right. I'm just so saying I I've, like I've... to do it in metric because the yeah. worst of the world does embroidery in mm -hmm. metric. And so I've just upped that by two clicks. So I'm at 0. 0.12 for my second one. I'm going to hit OK. And you're going to see it got a little bit thicker. I'm going to come over here to that one. And I'm going to put this one up to 0. 0.16. And I'm going to take this one here and actually put that one down. Are you all still out there with me? you all with me? Oh, it's, I, I kind of messed up the order of this. I should have went from big to, big to little. But we'll you fix it. No, oh, we'll fix it. We'll, Are you all still there? We'll, we'll put that up to point. Anybody get lost two. yet? Okay. So, Comment if you're lost. Yes. So what we've done. Comment if you're alive. So what we're doing is we're making, what we're making is a calibration type thing. So you can see. When you put these things into your machine, this number is really hard to like, what does that mean? Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a stitch to that number. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be 0.2. This one's 0 0.16. What about the other one? 0 0.1, 0 0.12. And, okay. and that's the You're default. You're leaving the other one at 100% yeah. right now? Yeah, I'm leaving them all. I'm gonna, and the, uh, that's going to be your density. That would be another one. When you do this, I would recommend one. doing one one um, setting at a time because if you start doing multiple settings you won't be able to look at what you've printed what you stitched out and say this is what I'm looking for okay. so what I've just done you can repeat this process with your different settings but I would say and you could get I could get six I could put six circles on here if I wanted to I'm mm -hmm. just gonna do four to kind of show you what we're, what we're doing okay so we're and and, I, and so we're at, we're at is we're at point zero eight point yeah. one two. 0.16 and 0.20. I'm gonna hit set. We should see. And you can a see. Difference. Yeah, and you, and you can see on the screen a little bit how they're 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 a little bit different. And that on the dream machine you won't get that until you get to this screen here. So come on in and get a brand mm -hmm. new Lumi two. 
And the reason we're doing this, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to embroider this, and it shouldn't take but a minute. Well, it's going to, it's going to take five minutes, but Yeah, whatever. no, I got rid of my long arm. I like my loomy so much. So what we're going to do is now we're going to stitch that out. And it says it's going to take us five minutes, and it's going to be 2,500 stitches. Okay. It's probably not on high speed. It, I don't think it is. You but turn it up. Turn it up with this baby roll. We'll, we'll talk while it's going. So right. I would recommend for you check your satin stitches. A circle is a good way to go. If you want to check your um, running can we, stitches, can we see that? Can we get in on that? Um, can you get in on that? Oh, wait. is that? Well, it well it's stitching. I want to say something about the the density. It, it's zero percent. Right that's, now it's at hundred percent. Yes. A, I'm sorry, hundred percent. That's so when you change that, you go plus or minus to that one hundred. So if you minus from it, they're going to get further apart. Yes. If you go plus, it gets closer together. That's how that little adjustment works. So this is sort of what he thinks is the baseline for yes. our satin stitch density. Yes, the, the, the machine is going to see this as baseline satin stitch. Now what's important, now this, this actual technique, the first time I saw this done was actually Superior Thread recommends doing this with all your thread. Oh. Okay, well, it does make a big difference on the, the width of your thread. You take a thread and you actually do this for tension. Oh. So you start at zero tension, do a couple stitches, to move see it up. If you've got yeah, any... and, and keep moving it up, and then you look at it and to see where your tension looks best. Where's my glass? I gotta put my glasses on and check your tension because you got a dark thread on top and yeah. you, get, you gotta wipe off. It. Yeah, so that's but, coming out pretty Yeah, but, pretty that, but like I said, this is for regular sewing, is where I've seen this done first. Mm -hmm. But for what we're doing, you've got all these settings and you don't really know what they're doing. It's like a point oh 0.08. What does that really mean? So what we're going to have now is when we get this done, we can write on this sample our different numbers so we know exactly what that setting width, is going to look the like. The width of that yes. stitch. And, and you can do the same thing with any of the other stitches and, that are in there. Yes, any of, this, any of the other settings. You, I would definitely do this with a running stitch as well yeah. and change your pitch because that's going to be your stitch length and mm -hmm. find which one you like. And then go through and do this again with density. And... And all you're going to do is after this gets stitched out, we're going to take a Sharpie and just write in the center of the circle what the setting is. And then... Oh, no. I actually did something similar to this when I was figuring out my stippling settings. Yes. Because you can't really get a feel for it until you make a couple different designs with altering your pitch. Yes. Altering, I don't know, there's another setting in stippling. Yes. And it makes a huge difference. But I would, like I said, when I do this, I would only do one setting at a time for your test stitch out. Yeah, I did that. I because if, if I was to alter the um, width and the density on uh, it, you, everyone. You would get confused. Well, not only that, then when I looked at it, I would be like, well, what's the setting that I'm trying to change? Because you yeah. wouldn't know because you've changed too many uh, too many so variables. the first thing is you'd say, okay, what is my, um, yeah. what is my, now see that one. See, this is our, yeah, it's because I didn't do a fantastic job hooping because I was in a hurry. But you also, when you do this, you're going to want to. I got to see what you're up to. You also, when you do this, want to make sure that you have some stabilizer on the back because that will affect how that satin stitch looks. You could throw some, you could just do this on just straight stabilizer without any fabric, it's, but I would recommend. It's interesting that the wider stitch required more stabilization than the narrow stitch. Yeah, that, that's, that might be something to pick up is when you'll see stuff like that. I, like I said, I didn't do a fantastic job hooping. Yeah, but, but still, I see a definite difference in, yeah. the, in so, the uh And so there, that's the things, things like that is, is, is stuff you might pick up. But you can even see on the screen now, you can see the difference in the width of those. And they all started out as the same circle. So what I would say is when you're working in Design Center, this would be a very good exercise just to get comfortable punching the buttons on the screen. Mm -hmm. But it's also a very good reference because... Now you know what those numbers mean. You've got a right. visualization. And then you kind of, you kind of, as a, as a, as an applique person, you kind of fall into what size satin stitch you really like. Yeah. You know, and, and this helps you determine what. Yeah, that and is. you might, and you might find when you're doing an applique, say for example, you're going to do a leaf. 
Yeah. You're going to want a wider satin stitch around the edge, mm -hmm. but say you wanted to stitch the veins into the leaf, mm -hmm. you would want a narrower satin stitch, and then this would give you an idea. Now, we went up two jumps every time, so yeah. there are some sizes in between, in between. that you... Yeah. And like I said, if I was really going to do this to have as a reference in my sewing room, I probably would have used like the 9.5 by 14 and laid out like six or eight of these mm -hmm. and then did every increment so that you can have a really good... I mean, if you really wanted to go hardcore, I think... That would be really cool. Yeah, but I think yeah. these four here give you a really um, good place to start. When it applies the satin stitch, is it doing it 50% in, 50% out? Do you know? on the outer edge of that circle, like you have a, a circle with a yep. definite edge to it. When it applies oh, I see what you're saying. the width, is it evenly just space. space between inside and outside edges of that circle? I I'm believe just so. I don't know like, for sure. Like did my inside shrink a little as we got wider? I think it did. Yeah, I and mean, you could get some calipers out, I suppose, and really yeah. figure that out. I'm just wondering, because I know, like, if you use software, you get yeah. to make it. To decide which direction to go. You get to, to decide, yeah. but I think it looks like 50-50 is. So what, where, all I would where, do at this where. point is I would take my pen. Sharpie probably works better, but I've got a pen right here, so I'm just going to use a pen. And I am just going to write in the middle. Point, Don't use friction. <laughs> point zero 0.08. This and iron it point, off. Yeah, and iron it off. So now, if, this is the width of those satin stitches. Yes, this is the this is the satin stitch setting. So now, yeah. now if you zoom in again, you can see I've added my calibrations to it. So I now know. If you wanted to be really fancy, you could have put text in. Oh yeah, you could you could do it with the text too. You could have actually take too long. Yeah, but you could stitch it and say yeah. I mean, if you really wanted to, we were just doing a quick. I mean, you could really have some fun and make these yeah. really cool looking, an entire book yeah. of different settings. But this is, I just want to... I'd wanted, rather make a real something. Yeah. But I just wanted to show this idea to people because this is a really good way, if you're going to be doing a lot in your yeah. in your um, design center, to know what those settings look like on fabric. Because what it looks like on screen, like I said, on the Dream Machine, you're not going to get a lot of this on-screen information in the design aspect of it. It's you're just all going to look the same. Yeah, it's just going to be on a line. On-screen, yeah. this one's going to look the same in the design yes. center as this the one lumin does yeah. on the Dream Machine. On the Dream Machine. The Luminaire... Which is why and, upgrading to the Luminaire yeah. is a good The, dr idea. the Luminaire and the Stellaire software... I shouldn't make the quiz how many times <laughs> I try to sell you a Luminaire. The Luminaire and the Stellaire will actually give you an on-screen what it looks like, but I don't think it's a substitute for actually seeing it on fabric to really yeah. get an idea because... This this, you wouldn't know that... And at 100%, those are pretty tight. Yeah. And so that would be the next setting that I would do is I would I would take one of these, say, like, for example, two, oh, the, the two-inch one, leave all of them at that setting, and then change the density so that I can see what different what density looks like. What thread do we have in there? It's a Floriani. Floriani 40 weight. 40 weight. Yeah. So pre, what I would say is that 100% is tied pretty closely to the oh yeah 40 for sure weight. oh yeah the, the weight of yeah. your thread is um 40 weight is your typical thread so that's why at 100 percent it should look all right but 50 weight at 100 percent is going to look a little sparse yeah. so you this would be another thing you could do is stitch it out with different different um densities mm -hmm. but leaving all the other settings the same and then do that same stitch out with different threads and then you'll have a reference of what things look like because i think it's very important when you start getting into the to design work is you've got all these settings, but you want to know what they look like. Yeah. Because otherwise you'll end up you like what? You start going, I don't know. Yeah, like is this the right setting? And That's why they call it pitch. Yeah. Because in this case, it's the width of the stitch. Yeah. But on the running stitch, well, I guess it's still the yeah. width of the stitch, but we, in my brain, that's not the width of the stitch, that's the length of yeah. the stitch. So the pitch depends on. Yeah. Interesting. And what's nice about Design Center, because if you do this for software, you've got a million different settings. But mm -hmm. you could actually do this printout for most of your, uh, do this stitch out for most of your different settings on Design Center so that you will have a reference of what the different settings are going to do and how they're going to affect. I like circles. I think circles do a great job of just kind of giving you a good idea and it gives you that spot in the middle where you can label it. Mm -hmm. Squares are, are pretty good too if you want to get a look for like corners and stuff. But I, I, I prefer circles. Um, they just give a, the, a nice representation, I think, of, of what the stitch is going to look like at all angles. Then buy a giant binder. 
<laughs> yeah, I. Um, you yes, you can. You're doing it, Deanna. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She is listening and texting. Yeah. it's actually chatting. Yeah, and if you do, and old, if you old Deanna, all you have to do chatting. is after you do this up, um, if you hit it with some. I called it texting too. Yeah, if you hit this with some uh, tarot magic or whatnot before, it'll be nice and stiff. Trim it up, put it in a, um, a sleeve, sleeve a sleeve protector, and throw it in a binder, like Deanna says. And then you can just flip to see what the different settings are. But are we, I thought this would be good to cover now because yeah. as we get into this applique that we're doing, some of these settings are like, well, what are they going to look like? Right. And so by calibrating your machine, or not calibrating, but um, print um, stitching this out, you will know what the, how that setting is going to affect your design. Well, and the other thing is, and I'm going to talk about one of the things on here are stems and I think I mentioned you can either do it as an embroidery or you mm. could cut it out and this is a tiny stem you may choose not to cut it out of fabric on your applique design yeah. and you may choose to just assign a, a wide satin stitch to it yep. and I, so the other, that helps you determine that too. and I would also recommend if you are going to do this go a little bit bigger than this 2.0 see how big you can get before it looks crappy because you can go to <laughs> you can go too wide on the satin stitch, and it would be very good for you to know how wide that is. When it gets wider, is it still a single stitch? It's just a yep. big wide. Yeah, there's no bridge. Yeah, single stitch. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the, it's not it, like I said. So it doesn't automatically say, "Oh, this is too wide." Yeah, it I won't do put that. Yeah, something in between. Yeah, okay. the, the, and that's um, the, there's probably some limitations that, but there are the, things like that because of the limitations of the software. I would say just. Like I said, try it for all the settings. You know, if you did a wide satin stitch mm -hmm. and you did a running stitch on top of the wide satin mm -hmm. stitch, you would have fringe. Yeah. Because you could just remove the remove first yeah. bobbin or wash away that first stitching. Yeah. You'd have, you'd have fringe. You'd have a fringy flower. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. We're you can do it. This. You yes. can do it. But yeah, so the, like I said, the idea was do this for all your settings. We just did it with the um, width. Try, you can do this for your pitch, like uh, the, the length for your running stitch. Um, you could also do this to adjust your density. Mm -hmm. I would just recommend this in a couple different settings that you think you're going to use a lot of just to get an idea what it's going to look like. And that's Eddie all I wanted to cover. Eddie didn't tell us it was time. Oh, we're going we're gonna to do the... Uh, he said, I guess that's what we're showing today. <laughs> <laughs> so do you yeah. have, do you have the, the, the spinning wheel made up, Eddie? It's, it's pa oh, look uh -oh. at look at this wheel of the wheel of fortunes. Is that what you called it, Ed? The wheel of shenanigans. Press control. Of, okay, what? A, All right, it's spinning now, and he's spinning it. Wait, I need music. No, no, pick an answer yet. Oh, 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 oh! He did. I didn't I get to did, dance. Yeah. You can still dance. I didn't get my music. I really want. Danny. Danny! Yeah. The winner. She's like, I won? I don't yeah. know. Good job! Yes. Yeah, so Better luck next time. So oh, I, that was almost commenters? better than the quiz. It was more exciting. It was almost like a game show at this point. Yeah, except I didn't get to dance. Eddie, next time I need music when it's spinning. Spinny, spin, spin. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Danny. $10 GC. $10 GC, yeah. Thanks for joining in, even though I know you're under the weather. And remember to like, like it so that we can get a good coupon next week. And, yeah, and, oh, that's and, right. And share it with your friends so that they can what like it too. Why do I repeat those? Repeat if those we, stats. If Everybody, we get like, 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 share, 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 like, like. Oh, thank you, Danny. 20 likes, and you get a 10% coupon. 40 likes, and you'll get a 15% coupon. If we wow. get 50 likes, you get a 20% off. Okay, guys, we can do this. 50 likes on any one of the videos yes. from this show. Yes. Right? Yes. 50 we're, likes. Because we're, we're going to chop this up to smaller pieces so people aren't going insane watching an hour 50 worth of... likes, babies. We can do this and we get a 20% coupon. Yeah. Not good on sewing machines. That is correct. Not good on sewing machines. But, it, it, but it, just about everything pretty else? Pretty much everything else. There might be a couple other exceptions, but just about everything else, yeah. Wow. And it, they just have to come in with a secret code. Yes. That they're going to get. Yes. And everybody can use it once and then you can... Once. And You'll also Secret get it. code. And Is it we'll, good for one that one week until we do it again? I'm working on the details. We're probably. working on details, yeah. you know. But come in with a secret yes. code. Yes, and then we'll also that'll also be available for online sales for all those people that um, Deanna, watch us from around listen, the world. Listen for the secret code yeah. next week. Yeah, next week, yeah. And sign in because Danny says she liked the spinning wheel, and I did too. So yeah. I think we might try that spinning wheel one more yeah. time just for the heck of it. Yeah. 
So if we're in the audience, yeah. how do we get on that spinning wheel? Eddie put you on the spinning wheel. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie was putting Eddie you on the wheel. Eddie put you on the wheel. No, oh, you were on the wheel, yes. Bev didn't see herself. She doesn't believe you, Eddie. Okay. Yeah. Bev, you were on the can wheel. I light two or three times, or can I like 25 times? You can't. It won't let yeah. you do that, but yeah. you can like on every video. Yeah, you can like on every video, but the idea is I want to Get your husband likes. to like. Yeah. Get your neighbor to like. Every, yes. Get your sister to like. Anyway, well, on that great like, note. Like, 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 like. On that great note and the shocking news of <laughs> Becky's broken boobs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Only one. one. This side. You just <laughs> made it hurt again. Oh. Thanks <laughs> my, for... husband wanted, my husband wanted to feel, to see if you could feel that one side was different than the other. <laughs> and then the, 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 I'm like, you are not touching and it. And then did he offer to kiss it, kiss it goes, and make it feel no, better? No, I'm not trying to be fresh. I just want to see if I feel something different. <laughs> I'm like, trust me, they feel the same to you. They just don't to me. Ah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Shenanigans. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that. But oh so on God. and be excellent to each other. Toodles! Oh my god, you did make me hurt. <laughs>